All right, today we're going to be doing an unboxing on a new smart home energy monitoring system that just come out on the, to the market. Most of these energy monitors that are out today are, well, they're expensive. They're, they're really expensive. And I never have personally got one. I've always wanted one um, just because of the cost. I was kind of waiting on them to come down. They have come down a lot to the point where I, I started uh, searching for one again. This is probably one of the cheaper ones that has the, as many features as this one has. Um, uh, most of them don't have this many features and some of them are more expensive. Some of them have a little bit more features like they have this like the, they're smart the way they figure out what things are and actually since I haven't used this one yet I really don't I really can't give an opinion on it yet. I've got to install a thing which will be in another video and then uh, then I'm going to give a a good tutorial and review on it today we're just doing the unboxing so you can see about how large this thing comes in this box right here and, uh, let's see it's uh it has an android and a iphone app to it so um for all the different users out there according to what your flavor is um let me open this thing up here Got you a little sticker here, so you can put it on something let everybody know you that you care. I guess I care. Do you care? I don't know. Maybe I don't care. Yeah, no, nah, I definitely care. Okay, just not about the sticker too much. But this right here uh, is just a little thing where you can label your circuit. Your circuits are going to be labeled in your breaker box, and they give you a little card right here. I guess you could just as easily use notebook, but they 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 graciously provided this for us. Uh, all right, let's see. Here's the instruction manual. This particular model right here, there's two models as of right now. One of them just has this, uh, th th these clamps right here um, that hook up to your energy main. So your main two phase power, single phase power coming in, uh, it's two phase power actually, um, has two hot leads and then together they make 220 and, and then uh, one of those with the neutral is going to where you get your 120, 120 volt power. Um, this is going to monitor both mains coming in, so you're going to be able to uh, see all of your power usage. Um, and one thing before I even get really into this too far, uh, you guys, if you're going to hook this up yourself, know what you're doing because this, 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 this will kill you if you don't know what you're doing. So if you, if you have any doubts whatsoever about your skills, your, your handyman, your electrician skills, um, call an electrician to put this thing in because you know, I, you're dealing with stuff that will, I, you, you will die here, people. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to die. So, um, um, make sure that you either know what you're doing or call someone who does. All right, now I get off my tirade and get back to this unboxing. So you got uh, the first book here is, of course, this is going to be uh, uh, the instruction manual for the um, two main clamps. And this one, now this is what comes with the upgraded version. You can get this thing for $50 and you get just the two clamp model. Uh, and this, at the time of this review, this uh, unboxing here, uh, it comes with the expansion module as well. I don't know how much this is to to get it on its own, but I know if you get this kit right here as of today on amazon.com, uh, you will be paying $89 and some change, basically $90. Um, so you, these are instruction manuals for both um, of the modules. This right here is of course the energy monitor itself, okay? And these are like little headphone jacks. I wouldn't, I mean, not for headphones, obviously, but uh, that's the kind of connectors they use to uh, for the, the individual, the, 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 the clamp, the meters, okay? Uh, this power input right here, and this is for a Wi-Fi antenna, it looks like. Um, and we're gonna go in more depth on this on the installation video um, but for a later date. We're gonna come out with that one pretty soon, if we haven't already by the time you watch this video. Um, yeah, but this is the main module. This is the brains of the unit, basically. All right, so we'll start from small to largest here. This, okay, so this is your, basically a, a fancy wall wart, um, AC to DC power supply. 
But this one is kind of cool. I've never really seen one like this because I've not, not seen too many DC things. I'm sure they make this for other things. Um, uh, but uh, this right here, this is go, to go in a knockout in a uh, like a breaker mains power box, you know, where you, you, know, you put up too much stuff and click. You got to go in there and flip a flip a, uh, a breaker to turn it back on. Uh, this is going to go in there, but they got little circular knockouts in the box and I think this is a three quarter inch knockout right here. Um, so you would um, basically, this is to make it all neat. So you could, you can mount this to the outside of your breaker. A lot of you guys are going to have breakers that are mounted inside your wall already. And for those, you're not going to probably want to rip out a bunch of drywall to put this on the outside. This will be for people who have breakers on the outside or, you know, outside of your wall or um, if it's on the inside of your wall and you got you know, drywall around it, I wouldn't go ripping out drywall to put this in there. But uh, anyway, it's kind of cool. You know, you got a black wire that's going to go to your breaker and this is going to go to your neutral bus inside your breaker box. And like I said, when you're hooking this kind of stuff up, uh, if, you, if you don't have that power shut off, uh, you know, you're crazy. But uh, anyway, this one. In here this is going to provide dc power this is going to convert the ac house power you have to the dc power that this uh, energy monitor needs all right next we have a uh, interesting white box <laughs> with a bunch of stuff in it i'm just going to put it all out in here mm -hmm. All right, so this is to the expansion module right here. So this is going to be, um, I guess this is going to expand off of this. And like I said, in the installation video, I'm going to go into a lot more in depth here. I mean, but uh, this right here is going to probably connect these two boxes together. And um, these are the clamps. Oh, got something here. Um, these are the, not that. This is just like a, a wire splice thing. So this is, so you can um, a tap to get into a breaker. So you don't have to have any, your own individual breaker because in the National Electric Code, okay, you can't you can't have two wires going into a breaker. That's a illegal operation. Uh, so this is so this will go into the breaker, and then you'll be able to splice into this with with uh, your power supply and then still continue that on to your circuit and you have a splice and breaker box. You don't have too many splices in breaker box. I don't even know if that, uh, you don't usually see it, but that's what you're gonna have to do. If you don't have uh, your own breaker, they don't provide a breaker because all breakers are different in breaker boxes, but um, uh, so you don't have to have any, but you could actually go buy a, um, your own breaker just for this thing, but it only draws 200 milliamps. Uh, so you're talking about a most minuscule power here going on a breaker. So you're not gonna probably overload a circuit by adding this to it with the splice connector. Um, this, uh, we already talked about that. Get out of here. I'm gonna talk about that. But here, these are your main, your, your energy monitor clamps here. Um, I have a uh, meter around here somewhere. Um, well, I wish I had it in my hand. Maybe we'll add it in later. But I've got a meter that has a clamp on it. You've probably seen those meters with uh, clamps. Um, oh, I'm going to grab it. It's right around the corner. Anyway, so these right here, let me put this part out. <laughs> so, so these parts here, these are the um, these are the clamps. So they go around your energy mains, They're like your your two phase power, three phase power sometimes in a, a commercial industrial operation, but most of the time in homes, it's uh, just about it's just about always going to be just uh, two phase power coming in. You're gonna have two hot wires coming from the transformer on the, the main service on the pole and, and three wires actually you're gonna have a neutral and two hot wires and the, the two hot wires are each carrying 120 volts of AC current and um, and then your neutral return uh, so each one of these will go around one of the 110 volt leads coming off your two-phase power and they're just gonna go around them and uh, I guess it's 
through induction, the power going through these things, the alternating back and forth. These things can actually measure amperage um, uh, coming from the main service. So there you, you're going to be able to see this live on your telephone uh, through the app and you're going to be able to see it live when you cut stuff on and cut stuff off on switches on your equipment. You're going to be able to live see what's going on, see how much money it's costing you. Uh, uh, this, you could really you could save what this kit costs. Uh, it's just going to save you money because once you're aware of how much power you use, uh, of course, then you will probably try to not use as much power because everybody likes to save money. I know I do. Um, but uh, so these are going to go around in veins. And when you're putting these things on, if you don't have the power cut off, this is where it gets really dangerous, guys. Because I mean, like I said, these are going around what's coming off the pole. All right. So this is. If you're grounded, you're dead and no good, right? All right, let's put these off to the side. Uh, this is your Wi-Fi antenna. This is going to hook up to the Wi-Fi antenna port on the back of the actual brains of the energy monitor. The energy monitor itself, I guess you say. This wire right here. So you could put this in between this antenna in here. Let's go ahead and hook it up just for... So you guys will understand. Some of you probably already do, but just for the people who don't. So this is a knockout connector for the power supply, the AC adapter, okay? And um, this is a knockout adapter for your antenna. So if you don't want your Wi-Fi antenna inside your your main panel uh, and you have access to the to the outside of the panel, you could uh, you could pop this in the side and then you could put your antenna. If you can imagine like. Uh, this was in the hole on the outside, so you got a hole on your, your breaker box, and this is in there, and now you got your antenna on the outside of that metal box. And then this, of course, would hook up like this to the energy monitor on the inside of your breaker box. Um, makes it a little cleaner installation, probably a lot better signal for your, your Wi-Fi connection, uh, so you, you'll be able to see you know, on your phone what's going on, because this, of course, all integrates into your, your home network or business network you can put this easy, just as easily put this in your business um you want to save power everywhere, everywhere you can save money of course you would want to do that um there's no rule saying this has to be in a home or in a business i guess all right so this well there might be in some states like california you guys in california got too many dang gone laws <laughs> well, we're not in california so oh actually it's probably, oh. I don't want to cut that. I want to make you California. Actually, I can say whatever I want to say about California because I was actually born there. I'm native to California. So, yeah, I can say whatever I want about California. Um, but I do not currently live there now. So, here we go. This box. Now, this box, this is your expansion stuff right here. Um, this goes with this piece right here. Um, just it all out here. So, you got, let's see, one, I'm thinking eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight. So these right here, these are where you're going to be able to uh, get a little bit more in-depth information. You got individual circuits coming out of your your breaker panel. Every one of your um your your single phase uh, breakers, so your 120 volt breakers, they're all going to have a black wire coming out of the side of the breaker, and uh, that black wire put one of these clamps around that that wire it could be a red wire too I don't want to say black but it I, I guess technically it could be any color but uh, the, the the hot wire uh, 120 volt hot wire coming out of the side of the breaker you put one of these clamps around it and uh, it will measure the individual circuit so you'll be able to see you know which branches of your breaker box uh, or your excuse me your your circuits coming out of your breaker box which branches are, are using more or less power and it gives you a little more customization to your to your to your system as far as how you can monitor it and then the data that you can get from it um and anyway i'm i'm, I'm just going to suppose i don't think i'm supposing correctly that these are going to plug into here and then this jumper wire they give you is going to jumper this unit right here to the brain of the unit and uh like i said we're going to go way more in depth in the installation video we're going to show you um, how I install it and in no way when you watch that video will you take how I install it if you don't know what you're doing and do it yourself you make sure make sure before you install this. this is not something that's made to be installed by a consumer first of all this is made to be installed by a professional 
Um, I did work as an electrician a long time ago. And actually the code that I know is not the same as it is today because they change stuff every year, you know, for the electrical code. And if you, you install stuff like this and you don't know, you know, not only can you not hook it up by code and actually, you know, you can do something dangerous up to death. So, um, yeah. So anyway, this was it. This is all the stuff that came with it. Let's, see, let's dump it all out on the table, give you guys a good review. See everything here. This is everything that came in the box. And this was the Emporia View Smart Home Energy Monitor. Yeah. Don't forget. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Trying to get paid, people. I like money, you like money. Help me get some money. I do this so I, I, I like for you guys to see before you buy, kind of see somebody unbox this, but hey, I also need to get paid. Please like and subscribe here.